We are at Lilla Pantai, which is down near Pantai Duyung, not far from the Hyatt Regency and, and that sort of end of town, quite south. Uh, a great little spot on the beach here. And we're gonna check out today the coffee and a bit of the breakfast food. Let's check it out. Now looking at the menu here, it's quite interesting. They've got a great range of uh, breakfast options there. The coffee's quite cheap at 30,000. That's one of the cheapest ones in town. So I hope it, it lives up to you know, a good standard. Going across the other side to these other items, we've got a good range of local food and then some international dishes as well. It looks quite good. They have both indoor and outdoor areas here, and that outdoor area is absolutely beautiful on one of these sunny days where you can look out over the beachfront. But if you don't like the heat, you can also duck inside to that little darker corner where you can avoid the heat of the day and perhaps have a cold drink. There's also a couple of little lounges sort of facing the footpath, which I reckon are really good for if you want to stop in just for a coffee or something a little bit simple. It's a nice little spot. At the moment, they have a breakfast promo, 45,000 for a croissant and a coffee, plus plus. That's pretty good value. And that croissant can even be one of those ham and cheese ones. So that's fantastic value in my view. Okay, I got a cappuccino, let's try it out. It's quite hot. In fact, it's so hot I can hardly touch it. So that's a little bit worrying, but let's try it out anyway. Mm. Decent coffee, decent coffee. It's a little bit hot for my liking, but uh, good milk, good flavor. And for 30,000, you can't go wrong with that. So we also got the uh, Ubud smoothie bowl. So let's try that out. It seems to have a range of uh, bananas and uh, granola and strawberry in it. Mm. That's quite, quite tasty. Mm. That's quite good. Okay, so we also got the French toast and I've had some very bad experiences with French toast in the past in Bali and I generally don't order it because it's I just don't have good luck with it but this from the very start looks good it looks very good so let's try it mm. and it is good big thick cut bread with an egg soak quite sweet quite plain as well but that's fine because it's cooked well so I really enjoyed this. I think it's a good French toast. I really love Lilla Punta. I think it's a really, really nice cafe down at the beach. One of the better ones that I've been to. It's not that Instagrammable type cafe. And I like that because it's middle of the road in terms of style, but right up there in terms of taste and value for money. I highly recommend coming here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things Sanua. I'll catch you next time.